let's move on to the topic one that's about employee retention um, i hope everybody knows the importance of an employee retention employee retention is nothing but we try to you know motivate an employee contribute better for the organization by making them retained in the organization that's what exactly employee retain, retention is all about so in a simple sentence employee retention is nothing but it's a kind of a set of actions designed uh, to keep good employees once they have been hired by constantly motivating them the other part of you know uh, the uh, what you call it is the uh, employee uh, what you call it is the uh, retention uh, quite opposite to employee retention is your employee separation uh, employee separation i hope everybody is aware it's a common sense it's a process of efficiently and fairly terminating our workers by you know equal kind of a way we need to treat them there are there should not be any kind of you know uh, other kind of a treatment and give them treat them better even while they are leaving so same like your uh, retention even the separation process is also equally important it's all about organization image and employee image when an employee comes out of your organization they should spread the good positive word about the organization and not only for maintaining an image ultimately it's it's a it's a kind of you know fairness we need to maintain as part of the social responsibility we need to take care of the employees whoever is leaving also has to be you know done in a more democratic manner and a more fair and logical kind of you know sequences for that there has to be a separate process has to be worked out anyway we'll cover this particular topic uh, you know uh, after uh, we cover the employee retention part of it now we move on to the employee retention aspect of it the strategic retention and separation of an employee is actually you know if you look into it uh, broadly we can actually classify this uh, employee retentions based on two major factor one is a labor orientation factor on y axis on the x axis the kind of an you know talent type when we talk about talent type what way the talent is actually you know whether it is the talent is all about cost leadership that means more amount of cost is involved in retain and the probably you know making them extract the work on the other side if you look into it is it that a very specific kind of you know uh, what you call it a skill set level that's something very very different so that could be one of the factor and when it comes to the labor orientation again uh, whether it is an internal labor or an external oriented labor so that has to be looked into it so looking at this particular diagram we can make it out overall you know based on this particular parameter of labor orientation and the talent type we can broadly classify this uh, you know uh, employee retention into four major type the first left hand side corner where the labor orientation is completely we are depending on external labor and uh, you know the, uh, the kind of a talent type is about cost leadership that means we need to shell out more money to retain the particular employee or to extract more work for, from them such kind of an you know employee is commonly referred as bargain laborer why it's called as bargain laborer is your uh, well, labor is actually you know every time whenever any uh, that such kind of an you know need arises externally we try to you know source it and uh, try to you know do the do for the particular job and ultimately you know we pay them little heavy amount so that's a way actually you know they are bargain laborers even the talent type if you look into it it's more of a cost uh, you know uh, leadership when we talk about cost leadership actually you know we are we are trying to you know provide the best kind of a competitive rate but at the same time you could able to you know get the job done more effectively so that's a way actually you know it is a bargain laborer and when we talk about bargain laborer we could able to you know get the labor at a very 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 you know uh, legitimate way and try to get the competitive kind of a rating but at the same time we could able to get the best kind of an you know uh, results come out of it so that's kind of a thing is your external cost and uh, you know hr strategy has to be worked out where normally outsourcing activity will be done and there will be low emphasis on retaining and high performance and low emphasis on renewing actually you know low performers so there will be you know low emphasis on retaining and high person in the sense this kind of a talent might be available abundant and the low emphasis on renewing actually you know uh, renewing the low performers removing the low performers because this kind of a job ultimately you know 
we even a normal kind of worker we could able to do it so that's why actually you know we don't uh, give much emphasis on removing the particular employee also it's something like this kind of an you know skill set is available abundantly even though the person is may not be doing well we try to you know probably accommodate him the second kind of a thing is actually you know more of a differentiation because of the differentiation they will charge very very higher and uh, you know if we, if we try to you know source it from the external side it will be more of a free agent that kind of an employees are called as free agent uh, why they are called as free agent is they are external but they are attending or probably their contribution to our organization is very very high because the kind of a talent type is very very different so that's the way the low emphasis will be on remaining and high you know uh, re remaining in you know, our probably the high performance and high emphasis on removing the low performance that means we don't remove the high performance just like that because of the you know small behavioral uh, thing because such kind of a talent is very very rare and high emphasis will not be given on high emphasis will be given on uh, removing the low performance because every time they visit the charges are very very high if their performance is not up to the mark we will be giving much emphasis on removing those kind of you know low performance so that's the way it works on coming to the you know uh, the third kind of a category where the labor orientation is more internal internal in the sense like your own you know internal employee is actually doing that particular thing and uh, talent type is cost leadership cost leadership in the sense like cost wise very very low and the very you know kind of a competitive rate and such kind of you know uh, people internal labor orientation and uh, talent type is cost leadership is known as your loyal soldier soldier why they are called as loyal soldier is uh, they get very very average kind of salary but they do best out of it so that that's why they call it as loyal soldier and your internal cost strategy has to be worked out and high emphasis uh, you know on remaining the high performance and uh, you know low emphasis on removing the performance performers low performers so when we talk about high emphasis on you know uh, remaining in high performers uh, they we try to you know give much more emphasis on retaining such kind of an high performance and uh, the low emphasis will be given on removing that uh, low performance because even if they are there they can able to you know do that average work and the cost is not going much on the other side if you look into it uh, you know the talent type is different kind of a tal talent type but internally your employee is available they are called it as committed expert when we talk about committed expert your own employee very very unique kind of a talent he has got and because of the talent you could able to you know get the things done and uh, committed expert is your internal differentiation uh, you know hr strategy where high emphasis on uh, retaining and high performance high emphasis will be given for retaining the high performance and high, at the same time high emphasis will be given on removing the low performance because if they are not performing but the cost wise you know uh, you they'll be taking a lot of cost but their contribution is very very less so that's a way high emphasis will be given for removing those kind of high performance uh, low performance so this is a way actually you know you can come out of the strategic kind of a retention and separation of an employee and the strategic retention you know think uh, the retention strategy can be worked out based on this kind of you know uh, classification now let's try to look at uh, what is the strategic emphasis on employee retention uh, the retaining a good employee is essential for an internal uh, labor oriented company so the competitive advantage here comes from uh, you know developing a loyal workforce because consistently you know they'll be excelling at satisfying customer need because they know exactly what they're supposed to do and ultimately they could able to you know satisfy the customer very well and second thing is actually you know we can come you know we can combine the internal labor orientation with the cost reduction strategy so give us a loyal soldier hr strategy when we talk about loyal soldier hr strategy with a minimum kind of you know salary we could able to you know get the maximum kind of an output so that's a way actually you know internal labor orientation thing you know we can work out and when using this strategy retaining an employees reduces you know recruiting expenses and ultimately provides workers with a sense of security that actually you know persuade them to work for a slightly lower wages than they might be able to earn at the competing firms so you know this kind of you know strategy loyal soldier hr strategy can be adopted so that you know the employee also will feel that their job security is better in this organization and slightly the salary wise 
might be lesser they will compromise on the salary a little lesser compared to the other competing organization but ultimately you know they will feel that their job is highly secured so this is the way actually you know we can work out an employee retention strategy and uh, you know let's look at the employee you know strategic emphasis on employee retention uh, the other kind of a strategy when an internal labor orientation and differentiation strategies are combined that means your talent type you want both differentiation as well as in cost leadership so you have a committed kind of an you know expert hr strategy when we talk about committed kind of an expert hr strategy employee retention helps build a workforce with the unique skills of an employee of other organization and uh, you know uh, other organization does not have such kind of an you know skill set you try to build such kind of an skill set by you know coming out of the very expert committed kind of an you know expert hr strategy and these skills are very very critical for producing an exceptional and a very unique kind of a product and that serves that cannot be you know easily duplicated by competition for those kind of a people we can pay very higher salary try to retain them and provide them you know complete kind of an you know uh, benefits so that the, those kind of an employee will stay back with our organization these are the ways actually you know we can try to retain the employees